Hey guys, just wanted to make a uh, quick video. Um, I knew I was going to get questions on this and I should have honestly uh, planned a little better accordingly, but um, I began some questions about like how exactly to get um, delay type settings for like Angels and Airwaves songs, stuff like that. Um, it's definitely not as easy as it looks or seems, um, but if you have the right stuff, um, it's really easy. Basically right now, I mean, I've had the same um, delay pedal that I've had for over five years. I don't, I've, I think I had another one. I think I had like a Digitech like DD3 or something a long time ago, but the problem with pedals like that is they only have like set, um, set times or like set speed on it. So you could only have maybe like four different echo or, or delay times when like the one that I have down here, um, it's uh, from a brand called Visual Sound. Uh, it's called the H2O. It's actually a chorus and an echo pedal. I'll, I'll actually show you real quick. It's that blue one right there. Um, but anyway, that one has um, <clears throat> has like a, a good knob on that, so like you can actually go from something really slow or something that'll go like really fast uh, delay. I mean. It says it's an echo pedal. I mean, I I never really knew the difference between a delay and an echo pedal anyway. But, um, so for example, I mean, the main thing you gotta do when learning something like that is you gotta try and figure out what he's playing without any delay. So for, um, for the adventure, for example, he's doing this. Or what the hell is he doing? Oh, he's doing this. I was I was thinking of uh, um, Valkyrie Missile. He's doing this. Or something really, really similar to that. But if you put it on um, mixed with some delay at this speed, roughly this speed. So, like, if you do have a delay pedal or an echo pedal that can play at just that speed um, where you can like really fine tune the speed that you want it'll sound like this I also have uh, my MXR phase pedal on um, just to have some fun with it um, but the same thing with uh, the adventure um, riff he's just doing this and I'll put the delay on now He does use uh, that same, like really close speed uh, for a few songs. Um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure for "Do It For Me Now," um, it's like a, it's. I don't remember. It's not exactly the same, but it's really close. Uh, so, it's, I think in that song you're doing something like. but it'll sound something like this. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much all I really have to say about it. I mean, um, I put it over just like my normal guitar, guitar tone. Um, so I mean, other than that, I mean, I'll show you the, the set or uh, the little presets that I have if you couldn't see them before. Um, let's see. So like you can see my echo time is, uh, it's pretty low and then repeats and uh, what's that other one? Effect level are pretty self-explanatory. You can set it to how many times it's going to repeat. Um, so if you only want it to repeat like once, so it's kind of like a ping pong. 
Oh, it's not on. No, no. But you can see it went uh, like one, two, three, four, five. You can almost like a sixth one. So um, you can set that, and then you can also set it so um, like that first repeat. You can uh, make it so um, it sounds the same exact uh, volume as the one that you did. So I can make it so like it's, it'll the first one that comes back will sound as loud as my strum. <laughs> And then it gets softer, or I could set it so like that that next one is about like half. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but uh, with, with like your actual ears, you can you can really hear a little better than my camera. Um, so I mean that's pretty much it. Um, the hardest part really is just trying to figure out um, what he's playing without um, without that delay. Like I for the gift, he's doing something like. So for something like that, you kind of have to figure out, it's hard with this part, but you know that it has to be in, in time with that, because if it's not, it's going to sound all jumbled. Um, but you'd have to listen to that root note, and you'd have to try and listen to like exactly when that's repeating. And that's the kind of one where, like, I'm pretty sure it only repeats once, so you could, like, turn the repeat knob down. Um, by the way, I, I didn't mention this, but I don't think they make this pedal anymore. Um, but I'm not sure. Um, so, if I wanted to try and get that speed, I know it's definitely slower than that. A lot of fidgeting. So it would be something sort of like that. Um, hopefully, this helped. Um, I know I'm not like the best teacher in the world, but. Um, I know some of the stuff I do I'm not really that helpful with uh, trying to explain stuff, but hopefully this helped the few of you that uh, that wanted uh, a little bit more uh, help with the, the delay and stuff like that. Um, but definitely, like I said, if you want to get uh, a delay pedal, I would get one that doesn't have preset speeds because that's that's the key. I don't know if Digitech makes one or Boss or whatever. There's so many different ones out there. There's a lot of really cool pedals. I know um, this brand called Wampler uh, has been making a lot of really cool pedals lately. I've been watching a lot of videos on those. Um, and there's seriously so many different ones. Um, I will make a suggestion. Um, this uh, this page I follow, his name is... Uh, I can't remember exactly the, uh, the YouTube name. I know the guy's name is uh, Rob Chapman. I think his page name is just like Rob Chappers. Uh, let me see. Oh, come on. Great time for my internet not to work. Let's see. Come on. Go! Thank you. Um, Alright, yeah, it's youtube.com slash user slash rob which is r-o-b chappers c-h-a-p-p-e-r-s um he works with this uh this company um anderton's in um in the uk and they do tons of gear videos they do tons of stuff with um with pedals and guitars and amps and stuff so i mean i get tons of great info from these videos and they're always posting new stuff so um definitely check out that page and um like I said before, if you got any questions at all, just let me know. I'll try to help. Um, if not, I'll even uh, try and make a new video or something explaining if I didn't explain something good enough. But it really is just getting a pedal that will work for you with a, like a really good expression knob and then just time and effort. I mean, I don't just sit here and just figure it out uh, in five seconds. I, I really do sit here and try and figure stuff out for hours sometimes. So... Um, it takes a lot of practice, so.
Thanks for watching.